Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. I'm Nick Park and uh, I'm conducting a series of messages on the great prayers of the Old Testament. And we're believing that as we look at these prayers that are recorded, the development of the practice of prayer in the Old Testament scriptures among the people of God, that it will be a prayer journey for us as well and that God will increase and empower our prayer lives too. And uh, today we're looking at Abraham again, and this time it is in Genesis chapter 17, where you have a huge prayer where Abraham says almost nothing, because most of the time it is God who is speaking during this time of prayer. You know, prayer is not just us finding the right words to say to God, important as that may be, but very often it's about listening to God and hearing what God is saying to us. I know that some of the most important decisions I've made in my life have been after a season of prayer, not prayer where I was badgering God and coming with a shopping list of different things that I wanted him to do, but rather where I allowed him just to speak into my spirit and sow some wonderful visions and dreams. Now, Genesis 17 is so important because it's where God shares about the covenant and speaks about all the descendants and the land of Canaan and and everything else and uh, and as as God's saying all of this the only words that Abraham says is this first of all he, he he actually says to himself will a son be born to a man a hundred years old will Sarah bear a child at the age of 90 and because he already had a son by the flesh Ishmael uh, Abraham said to God if only Ishmael might live under your blessing so actually, Abraham's part in this prayer is not great. I mean, his part in this prayer is almost to try to uh, diminish and downgrade the promise that God is giving him, because God wants much more than to bless Ishmael. God wants to give him a new son, Isaac, a son that will be his legitimately through him and uh, Sarai, that will be their, their son and the child of promise and will produce uh, uh, Israel, Jacob, Israel, uh, King David, all the way down to Jesus. But a a Abraham's words, even though they are few, and even though they are actually uh, not that full of faith, nevertheless, this is an important prayer because God keeps speaking. And God wants to speak to us. And it's so important that we grasp this in prayer. If our prayer is simply us talking to God and never us listening as God talks to us, then our, then our prayer, no matter how many hours we spend in prayer, is not truly going to be effective. Prayer is two-way communication. And so God wants to speak to us. And so sometimes I would encourage you that when you pray, don't be in a rush to say anything but sit in the presence of God and just allow God to speak and allow God to give you great dreams and great visions for the future as he did with Abraham. Now that's not always easy because when there's a silence, we want to rush to, to fill the silence, but God wants to speak into our spirits. And the more that we allow God to speak to us, the more that we will recognize his voice and will not follow the voice of another, as Jesus said, but we will follow the voice of the Lord himself. So I want to encourage you, you know, maybe you would, maybe it would do you good to actually read Genesis chapter 17 and just see how God speaks and shares his plan and his purposes with Abraham. And then say, God, I would, I would love for you to speak into my spirit. I would love for you to share your plans and your purposes for me. And uh, and sometimes it's good just to just to keep quiet, just to button our lips in prayer and allow God to speak to us. I pray that something that you will experience and that you will practice as you grow in this journey of prayer. May God bless you today and join us again next time when we're going to be looking at another great prayer of the Old Testament uh, here at Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drahada.